The MDSR is, a, is an SDR development that implements the modulation and the demodulation as well as the audio processing for RX and TX in software. Because a major part of the hardware that makes up a transceiver is replaced by software, it provides a very cost-effective option compared to other SDR transceivers. Furthermore, with the MDSR, MDSR, SA, OmniRig combination, a lower cost transceiver can be upgraded and can compete with audio quality and features found in high end transceivers. Since the MDSR in RX mode is fed with the down converted IF, the sound card performs the IF DSP functions only found in high end transceivers. The TX audio processing is also achieved with the sound card, which includes the modulation. The remaining hardware only performs the transverter function for the signal produced by the sound card. All ham radio oper operators have a radio and a computer. Therefore, the hardware and software for the upgrade is very cost effective. The MDSR J version 2.1 contains the audio synthesizer engine as well as the graphic user interface to control all the functionality of the audio engine. All the settings of the MDSR are stored in config files, which are read when the MDSR starts and will return all parameters as they were before the MDSR engine was closed. This is also how the MDSR communicates with the MDSR SA. A detailed listing of the files and their contents can be found in the back of the MDSR SA user manual. The MDSR graphic user interface. The user interface for the MDSR replicates some of the functionality of the MDSR SA, like a frequency display and mode selection button. This was mainly done to make it easier for the software user, the amateur operators, who are used to hardware interfaces and endless menus. In this respect, the MDSR interface is easy to follow and to set up. The frequency display is larger and easier to read than that of the MDSR SA. Below the readout, the bar graph meter is used to indicate the signal strength. When a static crash sends the S meter past maximum scale, the decay time is accelerated and the receiver recovers faster. To the right of the SSI, two fields show the selected BFO frequency and the display correction factor. Both parameters depend on the connected radio and the mode the radio is operating in. This is described in detail in the manual, which can be found by selecting Help in the Help menu. The field named Radio State is a real-time indicator of the RX or TX function of the radio, even when the PTT of the radio is used to key it. Below the bar graph indicator is a set of six slide controls that will look very familiar to the amateur operator. The BFO control, intended for receivers that do not have a fine resolution PLL frequency control, can be used to filter out noise that is located on the slope of the filter path. If the BFO is moved, the display in the MDSR will correct the frequency to match the new RX frequency. If the slider is highlighted, highlighted the fine tuning can be done with the with up and down arrow keys in one hertz step. This can also be helpful when tuning PSK signals. The post processing filters create an audio band pass filter with a variable high and low cutoff frequency. This filter can be used to additionally filter and demo, the demodulated audio and reduce rumble and hiss. The IF gain functions just as the IF gain control works in any RF radio. The F meter is referenced to the IF gain at 100%. Since the AGC feedback signal is derived after the IF gain control, lowering this, this setting while the AGC is used has little effect because the feedback loop will compensate for the lower input. For normal Normal operation, the AGC should always be on. 
The volume control works just like the volume control in any radio. The squelch control has not yet been implemented. It is reserved for AM and FM operation, which is not yet available. The radio state indicator indicates the real-time state of the transceiver. The mode indicator shows the last selected mode of the MDSR. MDSR mode is the primary indicator of demodulation and does not necessarily match the mode of the transceiver. The AGC selector allows the user to set the speed of the AGC feedback loop and the decay time of the S meter. Faster decay times are better for CW signals, and slower decay times are used for SSB transmissions. Faster decay times can also increase background noise because the AGC control increases the volume as the S meter drops. The mode buttons, LSB, USB, and CW are the primary selectors of the demodulation mode. In the top menu, under the mode selection, all the modes and states can be selected either by clicking on selection or via shortcut key. The IF filter bandwidth is set to 2.4 kHz for SSB and 800 Hz for CW. These settings provide the best results for general use. If different IF filter settings are required, the RX parameters window can be opened by selecting Setup in the top menu and then by selecting RX parameters. More on that later. The Start button will start the audio synthesizer after the MDSR application interface appears on the screen. Startup of the MDSR can be automated in the Spectrum Analyzer, selecting the options under Automation in the Wrench menu. The Exit button will close the MDSR and remove the audio engine. In Presets, the Startup options of the MDSR and Transceiver are configured. The Auto Setup selection sets the transceiver into the mode selected. The lock to TXCR selection will lock the transceiver's mode to the MDSR's mode. The mode selection on the transceiver is disabled unless the auto setup is set to off. If the re reversed mode is set to on, all the mode buttons are reversed. USB becomes LSB and vice versa. This function comes in handy when the LO frequency is below the down converted IF, which reverses the upper and lower sideband. RX parameters shortcut key control R. The RX parameter window moves and operates independently from the main MDSR window and can be left open. Depending on the current mode settings, the window will open up for USB or LSB mode. The selector buttons are for CW, narrow, medium, and wide. The CW filter bandwidth is 800 Hz. The narrow bandwidth is 1.8 kHz. Medium is 2.4 kHz, and wide is 3.2 kHz. There are also three slope selections that let the user specify how selective the filter pass is. Experimentation will provide the best results. When the window is closed, the settings are stored and maintained. TX parameters, shortcut key, control T. The TX parameter window also moves independently and can be left open if needed. In this window, there are are all the controls needed to set up the TX section of the MDSR. The RF gain control sets the total output power of the transceiver. It will control the output power from about 2 watts to maximum allowable transmit power at 70% of the control setting. The microphone gain control sets the audio level that is introduced into the balanced mixer. This control is calibrated to 70% for best performance. 
Since the MDSR only does SSB, the output power is directly affected by the microphone audio. The voice pass audio filters set the low and high cutoff frequency of the audio that is allowed to continue into the mixer circuit. The setting of these controls depends on your voice and microphone. The compression control sets the audio gain of the microphone amplifier. If the volume is low, the compression provides a boost, and if the signal is high, it is attenuated. The higher the setting of the control, the more pronounced the compression becomes. The microphone level indicator lets the user know that the microphone is connected and it is driving the mixer circuit. A good value for the modulator is about 70% of the total display. If the modulator is overdriven past 100% readout, the TX output is cut and no broadcast will occur. This status indicator shows the state of the MDSR RX TX engine only. It also will show adjust during the setup process of the controls. This will create loopback audio to the speaker circuit so that the microphone audio can be heard for easier setup. When the controls are released, the TX function is cleared that can easily be activated by pressing the TX button again. The carrier selection box has three settings, off, no carrier, on, carrier enabled, and keyed, carrier present only when the PTT is pressed. This will also be, set, be the set point for an external CW keyer. Unfortunately, this option has not yet been programmed. Turning the carrier on during TX can be used to tune the antenna. Leaving the carrier on during voice broadcast will create an SSB with a carrier. This is automatically reset when the TX window closes. The offset selection defines the location of the carrier. Three options are available, 0 hertz, plus 700 hertz, and minus 700 hertz from the center frequency. The buttons on the bottom of the TX panel are the TX button, the RX button, and the PTT button. The TX button sets the TX on and also keys the radio. The RX button releases the TX condition on the radio and returns the MDSR into RX mode. The PTT button keys the transmitter if it is pressed. If it is released, it returns the radio and the MDSR to RX mode. This is the end of part one. This tutorial continues in the MDSR how-to video part two.